Laura Loiza. I attended the film production program at Toronto Film School. So the reason I chose Toronto Film School was because it was a short 18 month program and because it was very hands-on and technical, which is what I wanted to get my foot in the door into the film industry. The faculty at Toronto Film School is very supportive, but also like, proactive in building our relationship with the students. It's also like what the students put into the program. I always try to build good relationships with my teachers there, uh, with the advisors there, and I feel like they were able to guide me, to push me, to like reach out to other industry professionals that I admired and contact them and, you know, just ask for opportunities to even just watch them work. They're in the industry, so they understand what it's like to network, what it's like to start from zero, from not knowing. When I was at Toronto Film School, I spent a lot of time in the studio and in the equipment rental room. So I spent a lot of time with Richie. <laughs> And I would ask him questions like, how do you do this? How do you do that? So when I'm doing prep now for shows, I sometimes I think back of when I would go and just bug him. I definitely think the access to the equipment at Toronto Film School is key. Um, not only in the department that you wish to pursue, but you know, I semi know how to operate like a sound recorder um, because I was there. I know how the program that ADs use to create schedules work. Um, so it's a very wholesome experience that lets you understand how we all come together. But for me personally, having access to like all the camera equipment, that was amazing. Um, I would book time just to like set up a camera on a dolly. Like what does it look to put blue gel on a light? What does it look to put this other gel on the light? So. I think it's incredibly valuable to have access to that equipment because once you go out into the real world, like you're just hit straight up with, okay, set up this, 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 and that. And you're like, oh. <laughs> so some people that I've worked with in the industry that, you know, they went to a four year program at other universities or schools, like they had never seen a one liner before. They didn't even know how to read it. Um, which is like mind blowing to me. I found that some of the gear that I use at Toronto Film School is like the exact same um, when you go out into the real world. Actually, one of my, the first jobs that I got um, like finishing school or like maybe I was still in school was because I had experience with the um, Ari Amira. I reached out to this DP who was looking for somebody who actually had experience with that camera. So I said, Hey, I'm just starting, but I've that's the camera I've learned on and she hired me for it. So that was like one of my first jobs. Something that a teacher pointed out early in the program at TFS was that the way our brain processes movies is kind of like a dream. So I thought that was really cool um, because you can literally build any world, any anything you like. <laughs> I would congratulate her for taking the route and taking the, the leap of faith <laughs> to study film production. You know, it's an art program. I come from a very logical, practical, entrepreneurial background. And I would tell her to trust the process, trust the program, and don't sell herself short. <laughs>